Hey, what's up, everybody? Rider Kick here, also known as Joe Snow. Um, this is a special little vlog for uh, the Microsoft uh, event at E3. I just got through done watching pretty much all of it. I skipped some of the lesser parts. Um, still not seeing anything or any reason to get an Xbox One for me. Um, really, I sat there, I watched the whole thing. Uh, start off with Metal Gear, but Metal Gear is going to be on the PS3, but good opening for them because they needed it. Um, good lord. Uh, so underwhelming. Honestly, I was disappointed. I was even more disappointed that throughout the entire 90-minute conference, it did not address any of the problems at all from the original conference. They pretty much just ignored the entire thing. Um, trailers were decent. Uh, the most... couple of the most unsurprising things was the Halo. It's Halo. I... Stop caring about Halo around Halo 2. Uh, their big news that it runs 60 frames per second. And you are, feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about this. But this means we've had Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, ODST, and Reach. So that's six games. And on the seventh game, we're just now getting um, 60 frames per second gameplay. On an 8th generation console. Is it 8th? I think it's 8th. Anyways, um, yeah, Halo, don't care. Call of Duty, don't care. Not a shooting person. i really not a big shooting person. That could be part of the, my reason for my apathy as to those two franchises. Dead Rising looked good. Uh, the smart glass thing. Uh, calling in the, uh, artillery strike. I... Uh, it's hard for me to describe this. They're taking a concept from another console and implementing it as their own. It just doesn't work for me. Um, big surprises on Returns, Killer Instinct. That really wasn't what I was hoping from Rare. I was hoping, honestly, for another Banjo-Kazooie. A uh, new grab by the Ghoulies. I may be the only one in the world that liked that game. Um... Don't get me wrong, though. I am very, very much a fighting game fan. I love fighting games. Favorite game is still The King of Fighters. I was just as salty as the rest of everybody with Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Pray to God Tekken Cross Street Fighter does better. Um, but Killer, I just wanted something different from Rare. I mean, I knew it was going to be Killer Instinct. Um, I'm happy it is. Don't get me wrong. It's just... I was wanting something more. Um, Rise, it's... I have no interest in Rise whatsoever. Uh, big su other surprise returns. Panzer Dragoon and Crimson Dragoon, I believe is what it's called. Um, I didn't see that coming. I really didn't. Uh, Mirror's Edge 2. I liked the first one. Uh, it surprised me that this is actually getting a sequel. I thought it didn't sell well enough. Apparently it did. I was happy with that. Um, still not getting the Xbox One, though. Uh, Titanfall. That was the only thing that really impressed me. While I'm not a f shooting fan, I love me some mech games. And I mean, I am a huge, huge mech fan. So this thing really made me happy. This is what I wanted the whole conference to be the entire way through. Sadly, it wasn't. In fact, it since this came at the end, that really was the only thing that made me happy. I watched the whole 90-minute thing. I actually kind of fell asleep a little bit in the middle of it because I was tired and from work and really disinterested. So, yeah. Uh, 360 is... or the Yeah, and the new 360. We get another rendition of the 360. Yay. Um... And don't take it the wrong way, I owned, uh, emphasis on past tense, uh, had a 360, I actually just recently got rid of it, because I hadn't played the blast thing since Christmas of last year, we're now six months out, I haven't touched that thing in six months, 
Uh, plus, any of the games I do want to buy, if I do get the need to buy back, they can be on the PS3. So, yeah. Honestly, I'm just not that really whelmed by the th Xbox One. Hopefully, EA uh, will get to the EA thing uh, when I sit down and get a chance to watch that. Uh, Forza. I am a huge striving fan. I love the Forza franchise. I want to see if Top Gear is going to be uh, into it or be supporting it like they did the last Forza because the last Forza was really fun. It was one of the most fun games on my Xbox. Um, that's really it. I was really not too pleased with this conference with, these, uh, with the exception of Titanfall. If... And that's the only game I saw that's exclusive to the Xbox One that really interests me. That's kind of sad. Uh, the price point was, of course, four ninety nine. I or five ninety nine. I think they said if you get two years of live, you can get it for three ninety nine. Anyways, five ninety nine, four ninety nine. I forget which. You'll have to excuse me. I'm tired. Monday's a busy day for me at work. Um. Either way, five six hundred dollar game console. We didn't. They obviously didn't learn from last time. Uh, it's nice that it's coming out in November, but I got better things to buy. So that is it for my thoughts on the Xbox E3 conference. I will be back tomorrow with whichever the big three is getting their conference. Night.